Do you drive in New Jersey? Ever get pulled over? Of course you do. Of course you have. Ever wonder what your rights are? Well, that's why I'm making this video, because not enough people are aware of their rights. So I'm going to tell you five things that law enforcement are absolutely not allowed to do during a motor vehicle stop in the state of New Jersey. Hi, I'm Daniel M. Rosenberg. I'm a criminal defense attorney and the founding partner of Rosenberg Parent Associates. One of the questions I get asked with regularity is, what are my rights when I get stopped by law enforcement? So let's jump right into it. The first thing you need to know is that police need a valid reason to pull you over. So what are some valid reasons? If a law enforcement officer observes a traffic violation, that's a valid reason. If a law enforcement officer has reasonable suspicion that a crime has been committed, that's a valid reason. I tell you what's not a valid reason. Hey, I want to pull those, those people over because I don't know what they're up to. I want to stop them just to see what's going on. Or I'm not familiar with that car from this area or their out of state plates. Let's pull them over to see what's doing. None of that is legal. So law enforcement just can't willy nilly pull you over, but you absolutely should know that law enforcement absolutely can willy nilly run your tag. Here's what I mean. Law enforcement is absolutely allowed to sit in the corner of a road, watch cars drive by, and just randomly run tags. They can run all the tags, some of them, and if it comes back that there's a warrant, arrest, or some sort of infraction, they can use that to initiate a motor vehicle stop. The second thing that law enforcement is not allowed to do is require you to speak to them. Now here's what I mean. You are required as an operator of a motor vehicle to identify yourself if you don't have a license or provide them with your driver's license, registration, and valid insurance. Beyond that, there's no requirement to provide any information or to speak with law enforcement. Where are you coming from? Don't have to answer it. Who's the passenger in your vehicle? Don't have to answer it. Where are you going? What's in your car? What's in the trunk? What's that on the ground? Do you have anything in the car? This is something you should absolutely know about because most people think that they have to provide this information. The third thing that law enforcement cannot do during a motor vehicle stop is search your vehicle without reasonable suspicion or your consent. So if you are stopped by law enforcement, they can't willy nilly search your car because they want to check things out. They need to have reasonable suspicion that there's some sort of crime or evidence of a crime in your car or you provide them with consent. Which brings me to point number four. What can law enforcement absolutely not require you to do? Provide consent. If law enforcement wants to search your car and they have reasonable suspicion to do so, then they can do that. If they don't have reasonable suspicion, then they have to ask for your consent and you do not have to provide that consent. In fact, if they ask you for your consent, they have to explain to you. You don't have to provide consent. If you do, you can change your mind at any time and they have to provide you a document and sign it. So if none of that happens, that's not a valid search. You also do not have to provide consent if they ask you for blood or urine. What I mean by that is if during the motor vehicle stop you're suspected of potentially being under the influence of alcohol or drugs, law enforcement may ask you to provide a blood or urine sample. There's absolutely no requirement for you to do so. And if they do ask, there's documentation for you to sign. Here's the caveat to that. In New Jersey, you are required to provide a breath sample if there's reasonable suspicion to believe that you may be under the influence of alcohol. So summing this all up, provide a breath sample. If they have reasonable suspicion, you have to comply with that request. If you're asked to provide blood, urine, or search your car, you are not required to consent to those requests. So the fifth thing I wanted to tell you about what law enforcement can't do during a motor vehicle stop is seize or take away your phone recording device. Now, if your phone recording device is evidence of a crime, that's a different story. But if during a motor vehicle stop, you elect to record the stop, there's nothing prohibiting that, and there's no valid reason for law enforcement to be able to take your phone or recording device away from you. Here's something else you should be aware of. If you decide to record the motor vehicle stop, I would respectfully suggest that you do so in a way that is not obnoxious or offensive to law enforcement. Here's why. All you're doing is escalating that situation, which doesn't do you any good. And secondly, if this does result in any sort of motor vehicle infraction or tickets, and you end up going to court, that recording is going to be something that is viewed by everyone, the judge, the prosecutor, the police. By the same token, the law enforcement officer's conduct is also going to be viewed. So I would highly suggest that if you are going to be recording, you're certainly on your best behavior. You wanna present yourself in the best possible light. 
So those are five things law enforcement can't do during a motor vehicle stop. There are certainly a number of other things they can't do, as well as a number of things they are lawfully allowed to do. This is just provided to give you some information so that you can get a better understanding of what your rights are. So if you feel your rights have been violated, please feel free to contact our office. We are happy to help. And if you like the contents of this video, please like and subscribe. And if there's a question you'd like to learn more about, please contact our office or leave a comment below. I'd love to hear about it. We are criminal trial lawyers. We have your back. That's what we do.